days where I have so many things that I need to get done that I'm kind of just not doing anything. I'm literally just sitting in front of my computer. I got Netflix on and the day is kind of getting ahead of me. So I figured I would put on a little bit of makeup because sometimes doing my hair, doing my makeup, feeling really good helps me with my productivity. So I have the base, base makeup on right now. And in previous videos, you guys probably saw that Urban Decay sent me a full palette of their Naked Metal Mania. So I felt like I'd come on camera and just show you guys how I'm gonna apply some of these colors because they're pretty out of like my everyday usual comfort or range of colors, but they're just so stunning. I wanna see how they apply onto the skin. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a makeup time lapse, but I honestly don't know what color I'm going for. And then hopefully, looking good, feeling bougie, go and put me into the mood to get some work done. It's ironic because me sitting down right now to do makeup is taking up more time out of my day, but at this point I have nothing to lose. I like, I need to get some stuff done, so let's get glammed up. I think I'm gonna start off with some of these lighter, more neutral shades up into the crease area, and then after that I can start popping on some of these more electric colors. So I'm gonna swatch this very last one. It's like this darker gunmetal kind of shade, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And I also can't see the camera, so y'all are gonna have to tell me. Is it cute? <gasps> Final makeup check, we got the hair done. Makeup is fully complete, got the lips on, got the eyeshadows on, and honestly, pretty impressed with how smooth all of the really bright metallic shades applied. Like, my eyes, they be glistening. Now, now I can go ahead and start filming other stuff, get my day in gear, because I am so slow today. You know what, I probably need another coffee. That's probably what I'm missing. Okay, my neighbor's gardener would be popping off right now as I'm trying to film, but I'm really excited because I've been holding onto this package for like two weeks waiting to unbox it on camera. So these lovely leather jackets were sent over from the jacket maker. They reached out and just said that they wanted to see me unbox a little sum sum, try it on, pair with my outfit. So here is the very first jacket. It's a little bit more fitted, a little bit more tailored to be feminine. This I believe is like a super, super deep dark brown color and even the inside is completely lined. We love that, very high quality. Honestly, I do wanna like put together a cute little outfit. Somebody called the cops because I look like a freaking moto babe right now. This is so cute. I actually really like the little like neck, neck clasp, if you will, if I wanna like completely encase her. I do prefer more of that fitted look. Y'all like this with pajama leggings. So here she is. Dang, I'm feeling myself. I like this. And then Jordan's jacket, hello. She is a little bit more like a warm tone brown. So I kind of like the variation. We've got like the deep, deep black brown. And then we have more of like this like cognac -y type of brown. It is of course a little bit larger. So we gotta, I mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna try this baby on, no doubt. Definitely for me, this is like pretty oversized, but y'all know I love wearing like baggy everything. So in case I have like a hoodie on underneath, there's gonna be enough like breathing room. But this is what the men's, I think this is a size medium jacket looks like. I mean, just the color with the skirt, 100% pure, genuine leather. We have on my recently crocheted mini skirt, which is currently being pattern tested right now. And then I also have on these brand new Doc Martens that Jordan just got me. So it's a whole vibe, it's a whole chat going on right now. This shape, this cut, so feminine. Look at this, so cute. Thank you again, Jacket Maker, for sending these over to me for coordinating everything. Actually really in love with this jacket. Y'all already know what time of the day it is. 
We're gonna take some time to dye up some recent yarn orders. So I figured this would be the perfect time for me to give you guys another small business update. Now, if you guys have been keeping up, then you've probably seen that I just recently launched the fall yarn collection, which has like 21 new colorways. So I had a lot of fun because I was able to dye up and make a bunch of like mini bouquets featuring five mini hanks. And then on top of that, all 21 of the new colors are available for full hank, full skein dyed orders. To my surprise, I never know quite what to expect whenever I launch new stuff. I always have these like very high hopes that things are gonna completely blow people out of the water and I'm gonna get like 20 something orders, but this was another one of those situations where I had no idea what to expect. And to my surprise, a lot of you guys really enjoyed and loved the mini bouquets. And honestly, I think that they're really darling. They're a really fun way to just kind of test out a bunch of new colors. But granted, you only get, I think like 80 some yards per mini hank, so it is very limited. On the other hand though, I hardly got any orders for full hank dyed yarn, which I thought that was going to be the hitting marker. I thought people were going to be fangirling over all of the new colorways and they were gonna buy, you know, sweater quantities of yarn in their new favorite color, but that just wasn't the case. I did get, I think, two or three separate orders for a few a few hanks of hand dyed yarn. So that's what I'm gonna be up to today is just dyeing up the very limited amount of orders that I have for the full hanks. And then you're probably wondering, Erin, this looks like so much yarn, what are you doing? Since I'm not dyeing up as much yarn as I was expecting from the recent drop, I figured I'd throw in some hanks of my own. As you guys know, I've been trying to write more patterns using my own hand dyed yarn. I personally wanna dye up some more hand dyed yarn for myself. I did mention this in previous videos, but I really wanna make an updated, like a brand new cardigan. I can't even talk today. I feel like my mind is mush. I want to dye up some more yarn because I really want to make an updated crochet cardigan pattern and hopefully a tutorial as well. So that's what most of this yarn is for. for the last two months, orders have been pretty darn slow on my website. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Although the YouTube is starting to pick up a little bit more, the small business has been rather... It's giving crickets. It's giving silence in the dead of night so i'm just gonna dye up stuff because dyeing yarn makes me happy and i just love to like experiment with new colors so officially started to work on the little cardigan pattern that I was discussing earlier in the video. So as you can see, I have been using the brand new colorway that I dyed up. This is Practical Magic on Superwash DK. Now I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up correctly because in person, this has a lot more than just like pink tones. So I will try to auto-correct the colors post-production, but I think that it's stunning. She feels super soft and I decided to go with a stitch that is a little bit unusual. I'm sure a lot of people are going to take a stab at what they think this is. I actually got a ton of DMs when I posted this on my Instagram stories and nobody was able to guess what stitch I was using. So pretty cool, a little bit unique, a little bit, you know, straying from your everyday type of stitch. So as we can see, we do have this really gorgeous ribbed texture. Love this little ribbed look, the shining moment so far with this pattern is the neckline. Now, if you guys have eagle eyes, 
you probably saw this. Your girl has had to frog a good amount of this panel, sadly. So I had to like hand wind it into a ball just to kind of help it keep its shape as I rework the piece. This is heartbreaking for me because I actually worked up both front panels thinking that everything was Gucci and good to go. In all reality, I could have just kept it as it was, but if you're a crochet pattern designer, you know what I'm talking about. There's this moment right before you decide to frog your work when you really think to yourself, should I leave it alone? Maybe nobody's gonna know. It might work out fine. I can just get away with it. But the perfectionist in me said, no ma'am. So sadly, I'm gonna have to frog this panel as well and start all over. Probably should have like troubleshot a little bit more before I just moved on to the next panel, but I thought I could knock them both out and then just move on to the next portion of the pattern. Definitely was not the case. So as you can see here, we have just a little bit more shaping and supreme pattern design here on the neckline. Whereas with this panel, the neckline way, way too wide. I do want to go in towards the end of the pattern and add a little bit of like a ribbed collar, like a ribbed neckline to this. So that's why I say I probably could have left it alone and added the little neckline and she wouldn't have been as wide. I don't wanna risk it and get all the way to the end and then still discover that it's still too wide. So look at the slope on that. That is, look at that, it's about to fall off my shoulder. I went in, revised the pattern a little bit and made this just a little bit more fitted. Can you guys see that? It actually hugs my body more so than the previous one. So we're just gonna continue on with the pattern. But other than that, it's working up perfectly. I really do like how this is looking so far and hopefully in the next few weeks or so, you guys will see the finalized version and then I can open up Google Forms to pattern testers to apply. Feel free to grab a little project, a little whip, crochet along with me. I feel like I haven't included a lot of like crochet moments in my recent vlogs. And as you guys all know, it's just because I'm trying to juggle a handful of other things. Speaking of which, I do have a very fun yarn project that I would like to discuss with you guys, but I might save that for a different video. I'm just gonna leave a little Easter egg here if y'all have been attending my most recent YouTube live streams, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you wanna know what I'm talking about, go back, watch the live streams. We literally have just been talking about it nonstop and I'm very excited to start it. So let me know down below in the comments what you think the big surprise is. Guys, as you can see, I've been setting up the table, just kind of getting prepped to pack some of the recent dyed yarn orders. And with the help of today's video sponsor, Moonbin, I'm gonna be testing out and using their Bluetooth printers. Now in the past, you guys have seen me use a previous printer for printing shipping labels. But what I love is the fact that this is actually a Bluetooth printer, so I don't need a ton of cords. And one of my biggest pet peeves is having to plug things in and out and in and out of my computer. So the fact that I can just have this sitting right here, no cords attached, I can use my phone, my computer, have everything just kind of spaced out and have a clean and clear workspace is what I strive for. So I'm gonna be using their 941B model. Again, this is Bluetooth. I'm gonna print out some of the shipping labels and I'm also going to use it to make some really fun, cutesy little stickers that I can include into the packages as just like a little thank you gift. So let's go ahead and get everything set up. So once I have it in there, close it up. Now at this point, I can go ahead and open up the Munbin app. I just downloaded this from the app store and it's automatically connected to the printer so we can go ahead and get to printing. All I have to do is hit print.
<gasps> so easy. The fact that I can do all of this straight from my phone. Game changer for real. Like I'm, I'm never going back to a cord printer ever. So they sent over some holographic rectangular stickers. I also have some like goldish shimmery glitter stickers. So I think I kind of want to mess around with these first and let's go ahead and put together a custom little sticker right on the app. We have like preloaded templates and I'm kind of digging this one. It's got the little flower outline that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna use this one and then we're gonna customize the text and the little photos inside. We're throwing in a little crochet ball with some knitting needles. Let's move things around a little bit more.